All right, let's get this case apart. I'm gonna use a Phillips number two bit to remove six screws, two in the middle, one in each corner. These corner ones, my driver isn't fitting, so let's use this screwdriver to reach these. Now with those six screws out, we can remove the case. I'm gonna to switch to a flat head here, even though it's not the exact tool that I need. I don't have a bit that fits these weird screws. Okay, that just pulls out of there. Switching back to my Phillips two to remove this metal plate. Okay, that's out of the way. Now these screws holding in this cartridge holder were a little difficult to get out, so I'm using some tweezers to kind of assist them up and out of the way. Pull that up a little bit, towards me a little bit, and finally it pops out. I'm gonna just push in on this on the side to release it. Get this spring out of the way. There we go. Comes out easy enough. These are not easy to get out. You have to squeeze both sides simultaneously while working it down. There we go. But I want it out of the way. Same thing with this one. There we go. Now I have to pry in a weird way here, kind of squeeze that away from itself and was able to get that to release. I'm missing a screw right there. So with those two screws, or what should have been three screws, the motherboard is released. Let's have a look here. Okay, we can carefully remove these three wire clips. I'm not pulling on the wires itself, I'm just using my fingernail to kind of dig into the side of that clip and wiggle it and release them. That one's a little easier to grab. Okay, now we can remove that. I'm gonna see how much of this I can take apart. There's this little metal plate. Then I can remove this bit. That's kind of stuck in there by that little square light indicator thing. Pull these out. Okay, I wanna be careful. I'm not gonna soak this particular part of the shell because I don't want these stickers to get soaked and ruined. All right, this motherboard definitely has some wear, some life, some corrosion on it, but I don't think it's stuff that I'm gonna be able to get too much using my IPA, my Q-tip on the surface. Still, we'll do the best we can to clean up what's there that we can get. You can see it is getting a little bit. Make sure these pins are nice and clean. So this is the back side of the board and it does not look that dirty at all. Okay, I'm gonna use my sandpaper pad to work this a little bit. There, just trying to get some of that rust off of there.
Okay, that's looking a lot better. Alright, this is what we want to be careful with here. I'm not going to submerse that corner in the water. Just carefully kind of clean around it with my toothbrush and with my magic eraser. Okay. There's some something really cemented on here that I'm going to carefully use my dental pick to just try to scrape off. There. That's better. Now you can see how much better that looks just using this magic eraser, just cleaning the surface dirt off of this. It's these four black marks though. I'm not even really sure what they are. With the soak, I'm just gonna use my spudger here and just carefully try to scrape and loosen the big chunks of that. And then if I go over the top of it with my magic eraser, I'm hoping I'll be able to clean the top of this case nice. Oh yeah, that's getting it. Takes a little bit of elbow grease, but I think this is gonna work. All right, not bad. Let's get it put back together. We're still missing that screw.
Hey, this is future Robert here. I just wanted to make a note that when I put this back together, I did not quite get this set all the way in there. So you want to make sure that this is all the way down or when you get it all put back together tight, the cartridge reader won't engage into the locked down, I have a game inside of me position. It's doing it here, but I did need to take this apart and fix that. 